Hello everyone. BB again, and I think I made a tutorial two days ago. So welcome to whatever number tutorial this is on Roblox scripting. Last time I promised I'd make a GUI type tutorial with images. So let's get started. First, we'll open up this and open our script. You should remember this. And I apologize for my last tutorial. It had extremely loud typing. So I have moved to use a um, headset instead of just the built-in microphone with my laptop. And hopefully that helps change uh, fix the problem there. Um, anyway. We're not going to lose the script entirely, but we are going to just keep it there. So, I hope you all don't mind, but today I'm doing a little free advertising. You'll understand in a moment. The Z battle. There. I'm changing this background color to green like I wanted it last time. Ah, so much better looking. But, actually due to the images I'm going to use. Change it again. And right there. Looks better. Okay. Now, for image script, we're going to have one image. Ah, okay. Today we're going to go a little more advanced. So, we're going to insert a frame in this frame, yep, in the frame. And we're going to call this frame, yes, we have to name it, logo frame. Boom. And now we will move it point 0.2, point, uh, probably point 0.2 again. And then that means we have to make it point 0.6 so it fits in the middle. Just a little math there. And I don't like that. No. No, 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 no. We'll just make it square. Nice and easy. Going to the pixels so that it's guaranteed to be that size. We're going to make it... This is taking forever to f fix this. Okay. We're going to make it 200 by 200. And we're going to move it in about, let's see how good 100 pixels moves it. Okay, almost to the middle. And now we'll move this down. That's probably 20 pixels should work. Nope. 15 ish. See, it's kind of a guessing game. That's why I taught you the percentage one earlier. But, like, the times like now, it requires. Nope. Back to 120. This version. Okay. So now it's in the center. And now we're going to insert objects. image button we're going to copy that shoot and paste it back in we're going to name this button one name this button two and move this script in and copy it for both buttons ah shoot keep forgetting to press shift there and this needs to be renamed to button 2 again my bad alright now I'll show you the images I'm going to use and how to do this it's not not the easiest thing in the world okay so first this is one I'm going to use and this is the other. Okay. 
Look at that poorness. That's so poor. I feel poor. Ah, raggy browser. There. <coughs> we'll use this image and this image, and when they are put together, they make a logo for a site you should check out. You'll figure it out if you haven't already. And I'm actually going to pause for a second, so hold on. All right, back. So I just did the boring stuff that you don't really all need to learn. I'll post a quick. I'll post a link that. Okay, I'll tell you in a minute. Anyway, so these button, these image buttons and image labels, have background colors, and all of this basic stuff. I'm gonna change both of their background color transparencies to complete because I don't want their backgrounds. And then they have an image, which I'll talk about more in a second. They have position and size relative to their parent frame. And Z-index and all of the basic stuff that I've taught you before. So position for the first one will not move, but size has to. So we'll go with a 150 for this first part. Ah, the wrong one. And as for the second one, we will do... Pretty sure it's 200 by 2. Ah, not 2,000. Am I crazy? Right now it's this image, but it'll change the amount. And that's too big, so we'll go to a 130. There we go. As for this other one, 70 is left. 200. But we have to move this one over. Okay. Because it's supposed to be on the right. There. Now here's the fun part. Go to either... It go to a decal, and at the end of its URL, you see this number called ID in here. Copy that number. Go back to your button. Go to its image, and it usually won't have this part yet. I just inserted that when I was paused. I'll show you later. Anyway, so take this ID and paste your real ID. But you see there's a problem. Yeah. I actually forgot about that. So here's where the hard part is. But it's not really that hard so long as you know kindergarten math. Just in the ID, take the very last number, or actually the whole thing, and just subtract one. So instead of five, I have to put four. There we go. And now let's get the other ID from the com. And you don't have to put the two. I'm just doing that because you can't put links in images either. And this kind of is a link put together. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, I think. Nope. I, I made them too big. Or too small in this one's case. And, uh, this will look good in a second. I promise. Boom. 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 There we go. That's better. Okay, so you see all them games dot com. Epic website made by me. Uh check it out. Uh anyway, enough of the advertising. So we made this part and now we can ditch this whole now this whole logo frame can kinda just be made into a uh invisible thing and it's just this. So right now when we click this, everything, and, actually, yeah, I'm going to show you people something real fast. We aren't going to change the script for the bricks at all. None. But we are going to make this invisible right now. That way, when we spawn, it's not already there. And now we're going to test. And... In the meantime, I'm going to close one of these out at the very least. And this is the site thing. It'll probably be changed uh, soon. So if it doesn't look this way. Oh, plus it'll be blue for you. It's red. And you can change the colors if you're a paid member or a mod or something. And I'm obviously an admin. So I can change the color of the layout. For any free member, it'd be blue. 
um, my test is almost ready, but I'll show you what it would look like for defaults. Uh, update, because it'll give us something to do. There, that's what it looks default. Okay, so there. Let's go here to our visit, find our bricks, step. And like earlier, if you step on either of them, it shows up, blah, blah, blah. But now, watch what happens when we click on them. Well, it disappeared. But it's kind of like not working right. Okay? So here's the problem. And I'm get and some of you better scriptures might have already figured it out. In the last tutorial, we went script, that parent, which was the button, and then parent, which was this frame. That was the master frame, and it still is the master frame. But we have this subframe now. So we have to add another dot parent to the script. That way it knows to go up two or three, including the button itself, rather than just up one. So, boom. Put it into both scripts. Copy this. That way we don't have to reopen our test. Delete this one. And move it there. And now reset this character using Roblox's very handy custom reset tool. Which I can glitch and I might show you all how to do that in a tutorial soon. Anyway, now let's step on these and click and it disappears entirely. Even if we click on one image, it disappears. If we click on the other, it still disappears. So that's how you make a sub subframe one plus an image. So, yeah. And just a note, do not take the entire link of the image because that is not how it loads in-game. It only needs the ID minus one. Remember that. So, um... No. I'll give you all the link that you put inside without the ID number in the description of this video. And you just take that and then, you know, put this whole ID number in. Minus one. Always minus one. Can't forget the minus one. So, that's it for now. I'll have another tutorial on something soon. Shouldn't be too far out of your capabilities, but um, it will be a little, little difficult, most likely. Of course, I could just feel lazy and make an easy tutorial too, so you can't expect it. Haha. -ha. All right, bye.